I have Simba here. I'd like to discuss some of Simba's training. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is how Simba is learning to wait at a doorway. I don't want Simba to enter or exit any doorway without an invitation to do so. That's obviously for his safety. So when I get ready to enter this room, I'm going to turn to Simba. I'm gonna make my hand like a traffic cop and I'm gonna tell him, Simba, wait. I'm going to be prepared to block him with my foot if I need to. Nice. Okay, come on in. Once he looks at me and waits politely, I'm going to invite him in. Come on in, Simba. I have some items on the ground that I want Simba to have. I'll see if he'll go after any of those items. And I'll demonstrate how to call him off of something that you don't want him to have. Wow, he says, I found a really cute little puppy. What do you think, buddy? Let me drop something that rolls, see if he'll go after that. So you saw he went over and he put his nose on that package. He heard the noise, which means nowhere stopped to him. He put his nose back on the package, so I increased the intensity of the noise. And then he looked at me, and that's what I'm going to tell him. Good boy, Simba. You did exactly the right thing and reward him with something he can have, affection and a dog toy. Now Simba continued to go after that package or any of the items that we have on the ground. Like I said, your first line of defense is to increase the intensity of the noise, which means no or stop to Simba first. And then if Simba still isn't listening, that would be when I take my two fingers and give a little poke on the side of the neck. That little poke simulates a bite like a mother might do with an unruly puppy. But Simba says, okay, I got it. Those items aren't for me. I'm gonna come over here, play with a dog toy, and get a good boy Simba job. Very well done. You are a good little puppy. 